Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Let's Build the Ship tutorial with me, Hanikan2. Um, um, this episode we will cover rigging and ropes and ladders and such. Um, and uh, the way this tutorial r will work is basically I will fly around um, and show you and tell you basically how I did it and how you can do the same thing. Um, I won't build it and time lapse it like I did last time. I got some feedback on the first video and they asked me if I could just don't time lapse it and show them the actual techniques and how I do this stuff. But uh, this ship is just too large to actually show it on video because it would be a too long video. And I also made a small version here so that I could sort of record me doing that. But that too proved to take too much time and I wasn't really happy about the result anyways so um, I think the video was like 21 minutes or so because I would tell you everything that I did and it would just be really slow uh, anyways uh, let's let's start so what I usually start with is I make the mast and they should not be straight like most people think the foremast should lean forward just slightly like this you see I made a little notch here and the mast goes on for a while and it goes another notch so I just basically made it lean just slightly forward and the middle mast should be more or less straight but I think I actually curved this one equally much to be honest that's a little bit of a f fault I shouldn't have done that uh, um, but that one should have lent more forward so it's okay uh, the, ba and the um, mizzen mast I think it's called should lean a little bit backwards just to make it look uh, yeah, it's just the way it looks, really, it works. Um, I just do that by hand, build it by hand, and uh, it m mostly works. The mast should be uh, about as tall as the long, uh, the longness of the hull. I think the masts here are about 180 or 190, and the actual hull is 205 blocks from that block to that block. So, yeah, quite, quite exact. And the flags. I might show you the flags later, but not now. Um, okay, well, when I make these sort of ladders, I think it, I think it is ladders, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just for balance of the mast. I've never actually been uh, much on a ship like this. It was one of my hometown some years ago, and I studied it quite uh, energically. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure if that's a proper word. Well, what I make these basically by using the line brush tool, and I click with the arrow up there. The line brush is a tool um, in Voxel Sniper made by the Voxel Box. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it works. So I do like this. And I use the arrow. This is an arrow in this texture pack. And I click. And I use the gunpowder. This is the gunpowder. And I click again. And it makes a line in between them. And it doesn't have to be uh, straight. I can do like this. And it still works. Um, so that is how I made those. And it is also how I made, um, uh, I used to make these in the same way, but I don't do that anymore because it doesn't look good. So I actually made these curves in MS Paint, or Paint.net, you can choose, or of course Photoshop, you can use whatever, just uh, as long as it enables you to make more or less perfect curves. And, um, these I think I didn't curve because I forgot, uh, so that's bad. I made one of these because I saw them on a picture and I liked it. It just made some detail to the um, bounce bit. So that's nice. Uh, this is also the line brush and that one and that one and everything mostly. These are curved uh, by hand. Actually, I didn't use MS Paint for that. And uh, that one either. Um, you know, really, you should just sort of. Uh, it's a lot of easy w ways to do things. And just because you use tools to make stuff it doesn't necessarily mean it's cheating because this is after all creative mode and I build these things just to let it looks good it's sort of like art um, if you can call it that an artist doesn't care I think if he actually um, made everything by hand uh, or if he used some sort of computed things and anyways this is everything in a computed world so it should be counted as cheating anyways doesn't shouldn't it it's just software anyways 
But um, yeah, I detailed uh, decks by the way. Uh, I think it's quite nice. I like this cannon design. That should actually be a TV I can show you. Um, but I figured it looks like wheels and as cannon barrels. So uh, yeah. Haven't we actually covered most of it? Oh yeah, these beams. I can tell you how I do those. Uh, it should be uh, made out of sections of two to three blocks. Of course you can make it uh, less or more than that, but I just think that it looks better when you make it in two or three blocks because it allows you to make more um, organic shapes in the sails later. And the top one, you can see here, if you, if you don't count that one, it's like one, two, three to either side. And on the middle one it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's actually a six block difference in length of these beams on either side. And on the bottom one we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can say that uh, you can see that it is quite a lot of a difference uh, in the length of these beams. And that is key, you have to remember that. Uh, but don't use exactly those numbers because this is after all a huge ship and I actually doubt that most of you will uh bother to make a uh, ship this size. Of course, uh, I'm not sure of that. <laughs> um, these uh, ropes in between, I just made them by uh, building sort of a uh, line with the line brush and I just made it curve by adding and uh, removing blocks until I was happy. And I made this little diagonal thing just to make it look better. And it did, I think. Uh, when you make your uh, rigging, don't just use fence. Here on this ship I used three blocks. I used this, which is nether fence, in the uh, voxel box tanvir pack. And this is normal fence. Like you can see it's wooden, just like the wooden decks. And this is iron fence. And I quite like iron fence. It makes a nice chain looking, or actually hemp if you go far away and look at it, effect. And I like that. So you can of course use glass also. I know um, Mr. Beastie, a uh, really cool guy. You should check out his channel. I can probably link it in the description. Um, he uses glass and it looks really awesome. He is a cool guy and he makes awesome ships. So do check him out. He's cool and he makes tutorials uh, way better than this one. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, someone removed the block there. Um, okay, well, I think that is everything from this tutorial. Sorry if it was boring or anything such. Please leave a comment with feedback or any suggestions in the comment section or you can of course send me a message. Um, and if you liked the video it would be much appreciated if you actually liked the video. <laughs> well yeah, thank you for watching. Um, see you next time hopefully. Bye!